Hello, everybody. Good morning. Happy Monday. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. And we have the Bachelor in Paradise previews for tonight's episode. There's no episode tomorrow night. Democracy is on the line. Make sure you get out and vote tomorrow, Tuesday. But in the meantime, we've got tonight's episode. And Victoria and Brittany in this thumbnail look uh, very shocked. They say, this is the most complicated love triangle we have ever seen. And my thoughts to that are, well, there's more to come. Um, will Paradise finally deliver tonight? Let's take a look at it right now. I'm going to share with you guys the trailers from last episode just to get a little momentum and to milk the clock for tonight's episode. So let's hear how last week went down on Tuesday, and then we'll jump right into what we've got tonight. Justin, Eliza, and Rodney. There have been a lot of love triangles. This is the most complicated one we have ever seen. Obviously, I have like a really tough decision to make at some point. Yeah. Haven't made it yet, <laughs> clearly. This is a major, major setback for us. We had such an amazing week, and to see her go on a date with another man, I'm like, I'm not okay with it. She wants direct and assertive. I'm not gonna be the type of dude to just sit off to the side. I'm not gonna let her lay up with Justin. I, um... I care about her, I want her, and I only want her. I don't want anyone else coming down them steps. I don't care about anyone else. And I'm kind of like in the same boat where Liza's what I'm here for, and yeah, I just don't want to put any stress on her. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like, the damage is already done. Coming up tonight on Bachelor in Paradise. Okay, so that's kind of how we ended last Tuesday. They called it Geometry Beach. It's really just a perfect triangle of drama. So in my, my mind, I think Rodney is a better match for Eliza, but it's also not fair to us because Rodney was there first. So I think a lot of people are siding with Rodney, whereas Justin left and came back. Meanwhile, and I'll play the clip next, but meanwhile, we have Eliza who's like, if you're not fighting for me, you, do you really want me? And it's like, there's some toxicity there. And look, we only get to see what we see on the show. We don't know what went down behind the scenes. Eliza took to her own Twitter to say, oh, no, before I decided to go on a date with Justin, I made sure I spoke with Rodney and he gave me permission. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know, guys. To me, it's like, I don't think Rodney gave her permission. I said, I think I think it's one of those, like, I'd rather you not. <laughs> I'd rather you stay with me. But at the same time, I can't be with the one to tell you what to do on a show where you're meant to date others. Them's the rules and these are the the ropes and those that's what she plays by but she kind of jockeyed it immediately into this into the angle at least this is the way I interpreted it where she's uh, thinking oh well he's just not that into me how come in order for people to determine if someone else is into them they have to play the card that pulls jealousy out jealousy or envy is one of the seven deadly sins it's icky it's gross it's undesirable so a lot of times, you know, it, it might be the case where she goes to date Justin, and I'm not a mind reader. We'll have to see how, how it plays out. And then Rodney shows he's jealous, and she's like, ew, he's just kind of coming on too hard. It's like, what did you want? What did you want? So we're going to show uh, tonight's trailer in a second. Let's. If I would have to describe Hayden, I think he's cute. I think he's attractive, but he's very obsessed with his golden retriever. All right, so this is just one of those videos that Bachelor in Paradise makes that's not a trailer, but it's just kind of some, uh, some extra hogwash we don't need to play. I'll say you guys to talk about Rambo. All right, so here, here's another trailer. This is the most complicated love triangle we have ever seen. This is from two days ago. So tonight. I'm only supposed to choose between two amazing guys. Justin made me feel like I was the only girl in the world. Ron is just the sweetest guy ever. It's an extremely tough decision that Eliza has to make. Who? Eliza's what I'm here for. Will. I can't lose you. She choose. Coming up tonight on Bachelor in Paradise. Now, don't forget we will have live streams one hour before and directly after. It's one. Of, it's finally we have a show where we've only got one uh, episode during the week. I can kindly f f sort of feel like I'm taking a break here. It's like it's just such a full time thing. I know you guys get it. I'm not complaining, but it's like so much content. There are so many storylines that would have been like top storylines of the month and we're just sho just like shoving them off because it's just chaos out there so uh bachelor in paradise's instagram post said one rose to give one night to watch i feel like i've watched like two total rose ceremonies on all of bachelor in paradise so we'll have to see if um if the audience is going to care so much about who eliza chooses it seems to me like she's not in a position where um 
where she's she's definitely not a villain, but I feel like people ha- have a certain feeling about about how this scenario is going to go down. And when it's a two on one where the 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 woman's the lead, it's going to pull people to to feel a certain way because we're all going to project it. I love Rodney. I love Justin. And it's and you know some of the comments. Not a fan of her now. I mean, it's an unenviable position to be in. You know, she thinks she's got a good thing with Justin, and then another good thing comes along. All right, what does Wells have to say? Bienvenidos a Sayulita. Okay, so here's the next trailer for the podcast listeners that can't see anything. This is Danielle and Michael, uh, sh- uh, you know, uh, continuing their love story um, on a one-on-one date in Sayulita. This town, you are going to love, but I want you to experience it in style. You ready? I'm going to be spending a lot of time dedicated to Danielle, getting to know her better, because time's running out, and at the end of this, it's an important decision. Tacos! Tacos! Hey, guys! Oh, hey! Have a taco. Quite frankly. You you think that other countries don't hate Americans enough? How about Wells just yelling tacos (laughs) in Mexico? Oh, boy. I really wasn't expecting Wells. See you guys! I love the city already. I know. Who wants a Choco Banana? We turn the corner and there's Wells again. I love him as a person, but we need to focus on us. Nice, Danielle. Drinks, drinks, who wants drinks? What the hell's going on? You guys thirsty? Yes, please. What can't this man do? I mean, he might as well run for mayor at this point. What, what can't this man do? Be host of the TV show. No, I mean, look, it's a good gig that they got him doing here, but uh, poor Wells deserves a race. He's riding a donkey. All right, okay, so for those that only caught the audio, these videos are up on YouTube. Of course, I'm also speaking to the podcast. I feel like a dad who's got two kids that are fighting, so i got to talk to each of them separately. I'm like, we've got Bachelor Nation News, the YouTube channel, and then we've got Bachelor Rush Hour, which is our podcast, of course, every day at 5 p.m. East Coast. You can download wherever you listen to podcasts. Link in the comment section below. Let's see if there's any more trailers we're missing. Uh, Jesse Palmer is taking over the Bachelor in Paradise Instagram account. Oh, boy, I'm sure that'll be a ton of fun. Um, They always shoot those in advance because it's a corporation and corporations have no soul and they need it pre-approved. We need to make sure HR approves of your Instagram stories. You know, God forbid there's a reflection of him with his pants off or something. You know what I mean? We all have mistakes on our Instagram. All right, and here is a, here's, uh, we've got, um, uh, we've got Serene here saying, me after one single date, we're in love. And it's just a meme of her, I guess, doing a dab, I think. Either way, Brandon and Serene, uh, they've just been shot into the stratosphere. Have they had a fight? You almost want them to have a fight just to make sure that they're cool. It's almost like too good. But, um, of course, we'll see how that all plays out. And then Bachelor in Paradise on their Instagram stories. Uh, and, again, these aren't spoilers because they're on Bachelor in Paradise Instagram stories. Uh, reposting Victoria Fuller at the Bachelor in Paradise reunion taping. There they are. Kind of like a red carpet experience. And then we've got Jesse Palmer hanging out with the bros. Jacob, uh, Rodney, and Brandon, Brandon. And then we have all the photos. Sierra Jackson took a photo of everyone in batch everyone that was on batch not everyone that was on bachelor in paradise notably we don't have victoria fuller in this photo Uh, i'm trying to think who else may or may not be there is michael in there so michael's in there of course how sierra reacts to michael and danielle falling in love will be a storyline on the bachelor in paradise reunion Jesse here, listen, someone really important must have canceled today because actually I am taking over Bachelor in Paradise's IG account for the day. So I'm going to be walking around, um, come hang out. Uh, I'm going to be heading to the mansion a little bit later. we got a little rose ceremony action going on. Um, so just feel free to ask some questions. I'm going to be answering everything throughout the day. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. Let's get weird. All right, let's do it. All right, let's just get down to the nitty gritty, all right? He's a handsome MF. So saw, their question was, is Justin that handsome in person? Not once on the first day when he came down the steps. But when he came back, he got a double dose of handsome. Does anyone else feel a certain way when uh, when uh, Jesse Palmer whispers? It's kind of so nice. This is really the yin and the yang of being the host of Bachelor in Paradise. Awesome when you give great news. So the question is, how stressful is it having to be the bearer of good and bad news on the show? It's not awesome when you give bad news. You never want women to go out in a balcony and scream, F you, Jesse Palmer, at the top of their lungs. <laughs> Oh, very nice. filming all of them. Next question, what is your favorite favorite to film, Bachelor, Bachelorette, or Bachelor in Paradise? Um, they always present new and different challenges. Being around the cast is my favorite part of it all. Um, and trying to help these people find meaningful and lasting connections. 
Wait, it's weird when you're like an adult, like a like a real like I'm an adult, uh, you know. But he's like an adult, right? And he's just in some hotel lobby uh, after the party. It's a hotel lobby, right? Doing his thing, just doing. It, and we're like, "What are you doing out there?" He's like, "Well, you know, I'm just running the Instagram account for one of the largest dating shows in the world." And then there he is studying college football for his other job. Yeah, he had to go back. I think Reality Steve mentioned this that Jesse Palmer, it, you know, he it's that time of the year where he's. Uh, co- he's got to be a commentator for um um for uh, uh college football, along with commenting on all the love lives of uh, of these um young influencers. Qu- now, last question: What was the most unexpected part of hosting full time? How long the rose ceremonies last? They go from like seven p.m. to eight a.m. Bachelor, Bachelorette, or Paradise, and then by the end of the night, I look like this. And then, of course, if you're listening to the podcast, it's a video of him with a uh, apparently an alien filter. Is is it an alien or is that Yoda? I'm not really sure. It's a green Yoda. All right. Well, that's tonight's episode. Stick around. We'll be live for a pre-show. Hang. And then we will be live right afterwards. And if you haven't already and want to, join the Patreon. Tons of wedding content from my wedding coming up. We're just getting the actual video footage and we got to log through it all. So I'm going to be sharing all that with you guys. Tons to talk about on Patreon. I'm live right now. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. We'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody.